Zachary in Wonderland, full audiobook by R.N. Snowflake. Zachary in Wonderland, episode 1. Trigger warnings, dead naming, homophobia, racism, immigration, hashtag free Hong Kong, you are safe with me, drug implications, death implications, cult implications, racism. This is a children's story. Most children's stories are this dark, but it's all between the lines. This is just the same as the original Alice in Wonderland, but most kids won't pick up on the dark stuff or go for it. Content warnings, madness, hats, Alice in Wonderland, horror, but Yami Kawaii horror, Manhara implications. Want to cosplay? Here you go. Patreon. How I made my 31948727. Theme song. Link. The story is well to me, but I will curse you if you change my pen name, Adam Snowflake. The story is kin friendly. It's a children's story. It's for kids. And don't worry, it has a happy ending. Alice Zachary was a girl like any other. A seven year old with a wild imagination. One day, she was starting to fall asleep when her vision began to blur. Tilted awake, she saw a purple rabbit running into the forest. Curious, she decided to follow him. Inside the forest, she found a hole and fell down it. Finally, she got her bearings. She was in a room. Before her were three doors. One quite large, one quite small, and one her size. The first door read label flame. The second door read water. And the third door, the one her size, read air. She looked around, feeling a fourth door missing. She looked around the room and couldn't find anything. Finally, she found the door. It was smaller than her foot and a symbol of locks on the door. She looked around. She tried the big door, but it was too tall she couldn't hop up to see it. She made her way across the bright red tunnel full of rainbow images and pink and blue elephants painted between it. Finally, she felt her way into a pitch black room. Hello? Is anyone there? Alice asked, yelling, feeling the cave walls blindly. Why? Yes. A British accent came from behind her. Before her was a pale-skinned man with black curls and black glasses, the kind a hound would wear. He wore a symbol of rainbow and a bow tie, a black vest and wrappings on his arms, purple bottoms. I am the blind hatter. Welcome, Zachary, to Wonderland. He smiled a wide-toothed grin. Wonderland, the girl mumbled. What's that? It's a dream, he smiled. Please, please, come in. He gestured with his hand. Suddenly, torches lit up the wall, and she was in a yellow-looking room with golden-lined tables full of food and of odd-colored choices. Pink food, blue food, red food, green food. She looked around, but especially at a table of bagels. This is my friend Hopper, the blind hatter gestured to the rabbit. He is always running late, <laughs> he chuckled. A p pleasure to m m meet you, the rabbit started turning to his pocket watch. Am I interrupting something? Alice asked, putting her hand to her chin. No, you're just in time for tea, he said, biting into his purple donut. Tell me, what's your favorite color? The hatter asked. Pink, Alice said, excited. Oh, I have just the thing. He dug around in his pocket and pulled out a pink heart patch and a safety pin. Tell me, which one do you like better? The pink heart is cuter, but the safety pin means more to me because my imaginary friend wears one. Hmm, do you know what it means? Nope. Would you like to know? Yes. It means you're a hero of Wonderland, the Hatter smiled. I want to be a hero, Zachary Neary yelled. Perfect. The Hatter then put the heart clip in her hair and the safety pin on her skirt. There is someone I want you to meet. Who? He's a villain here. He's trying, but he's so bad at his job. The Hatter made a funny gesture and, <laughs> and Alice laughed. He's a tyrant. He pulled her lids down from his eyes with a serious smile. I'll... Alice held her heart. I'll fix it. We never have him over for tea, the rabbit looked off to the side. Not until he fixes what he's broken, the hatter said with a finger. The rabbit's ears perked up. The rabbit was wore purple stitching all around. His eyes cried red, like makeup in the worst way, Alice often thought. Take this flower with your tea, the hatter said, pouring some apple juice in her drink. Goodbye, Alice found herself in a red tunnel. Suddenly, she was talking to the hatter. But you just built a cage around him, Zachary said. The Orange King added extra locks to the fence. Nope, he came here against our kingdom status. Therefore, I'm sending him home. The Orange King began to dig a moat around the rabbit. The thing still chained to the wall with beady red eyes that looked at Zack. But how can you send him home if you're locking him up? Zack demanded, stopping her foot. It's a process, the Orange King smiled. Alice continued to wonder. Finally, it hit her, the safety pin she had been wearing on her left breast. A gift from the Blind Hatter, as well as the sunflower pin she had been wearing in her hair. She would have to make it past the fence. The rabbit's ears perked up. The Orange King, despite building the ultimate safety net, continued to build the cage around the rabbit further. He then summoned by horn three red birds, the lightest one of the litter he took and placed in the cage with the rabbit. 
But you just took the baby bird away from his family. They came here against the rule of the kingdom, the Orange King said. But you called him here to take him away. Alice protested. The Orange King smiled after sticking bins in the bird's wings so it couldn't fly away. There. Now our kingdom is safe. From the baby bird? Alice screamed, stomping her foot. Yes, the Orange King laughed. It was a heated laugh that outshuts from Isles. Now then, Miss Sack, why don't you come over for a deal? But I have nothing to offer you, Mr. King. I keep telling you this. I'm sure you'll figure out something. My kingdom is great with the bone safe. Absolutely perfect. The Orange King took her by the wrist and began to tug at Zachary. Wait, Mr. King, may I have a pie? A pie? The King asked. Well, truly, I can't do diplomacy on an empty stomach. The King began to clap and three white maids came in. They had bumps on their hands. They each served a different meal. One gave Alice a burger. Another brought some tea. The last one brought a cherry pie. Now then, Mr. King, it's quite rude to watch a lady while she's eating. The Orange King took his hands and placed them over his face. Alice snuck in a safety pin and her sunflower clip with a slice of pie, which she then tossed over the wall to the king had built to the rabbit. She didn't have the scissors, but with enough time she knew it would take the chains the king pushed. The rabbit thumped his foot three times, and then she took the orange king's hand, his eyes still covered by his lips. To a better location, to talk diplomacy, Alice said as she pulled him off to the Golden River. They walked in the forest for three nights, though it felt only a moment until finally she was at a Golden River miles and continents away from the cage. The rabbit and bird should have escaped by now. The king set up a golden table. He placed on it a pyramid statue. He pointed with his cane to the schemes of the kingdom's deal. Alice pared up again. I'm sorry, Mr. King. I thought I would have something to show you, but I don't anymore. I must have eaten my last deal. You see, us girls are very hungry, so sometimes we gobble entire products and companies up. The Orange King was furious. Take her by the wrist, he screamed and stomped his foot. Four card warriors came to the king's aid. Suits from ones to aces to wild to trump came to the aid of the king. They were each orange cards. They lifted her up by her hand, her pink dress flying about, her petticoat shining through. Unhand me at once! Alice screamed, but they didn't let go. They forced her into a cell where she met an odd man. My name is Zack, the small girl said. What's yours? The man smiled, adjusting the bandages on his chest. My name is Flower Vase. Flower Vase? Alice was surprised. What sort of a name is that? What sort of name is Zachary, especially for a girl? Zachary crossed her arms. I quite like my name, thank you, and so do I, the Asian man said. Tell me, are you from Wonderland? Yes, and by the looks of it, so are you. I fell here, Alice claimed. Oh, I must have been mistaken. Yes, you don't have the shade of pink hair due to the scarves. He gestured to Alice's dress. The plant's quite expensive, Flavre said. Tell me, do you know the Mind Hatter? Yes, he's my friend. Do you know how to reach him? I hear you are to whistle. To whistle like this. <laughs> Flower Vase took his hand to his mouth and let out a sour sound. Alice covered her ears. That's an old way to reach someone, especially a blind hatter. It works every time. The two playing cards came into the room. Your Highness, your lawyer says we must meet you. Alice looked at Flower Vase. I think they mean you. But what about Flower Vase? Alice asked. Is he with you? Alice looked for approval with a nod from Flower Vase. Her left the scene. The White Queen will be having us for supper, Flower Vase amused. Apparently they think I'm a royal too, Alice whispered in the carriage. Aren't you? Flower Vase asked in the cottage, but again trotting. Nope, Alice said, smiling. I see. May I ask why me? Well, you were there, were you not, Mr. Vase? I didn't ask what for, Flower Vase gestured with his hands exaggerating as he spoke. Does it matter? You are a friend of the Hatters. Alice looked at him. I suppose not, Flower Vase eased with tension seeping away, relaxing as the two arrived at the White Kingdom. As soon as they got out, the guards bowed. They stood but went near down to her feet. Alice looked at Flower Vase. You're supposed to bow back, he whispered, smiling. Alice made the man going as far down and then curtsied, holding it for ten seconds. Right this way, the man said. She was taken to a table. She was about to sit when the guards stopped her. Several people sat seats before her. Finally, he gestured for Alice to sit at the end. There's not enough room for the foreigner. Alice began to get up when the staff saw her. The other foreigner. They gestured to Flower Vase. Your face is of our kingdom, but your hair is of a foreign land. Blonde, the quiet queen asked. Yes. Actually, Flavor said with his mouthful, she all it. I was there. She took inspiration from pop music. The white queen was surprised. Tell me, do you like fantasy stories? I'm familiar with some of it, Alice claimed. They clapped. Really, who's your favorite? The sun one. Ah, oh, the sun one, the girl. Yes, I grew up with a storybook about her. It's the story where she disappears and they have to get the moon one to save her. Oh, so you do like fairy tales. Yes, Alice said, excited. Flavius began to laugh. <laughs> What's so funny? The White Queen asked. 
But her favorite of ours is the monkey. It's a story from the West. The White Queen was surprised. Some were gone. He's mysterious. I like mysterious, Alice said. Very well, the Queen, White Queen sipped some tea. Alice went to pour herself some flowery starter. Actually, you have to wait for them to pour it in the White Kingdom. Oh, really? How come? Alice asked, looking north. It's rude not to. Oh, my mistake. Sorry. Alice nodded her head down. The White Queen smiled. It's very fine, Zachary. Tell me, do you have a last name? Well, I just go by Zachary. Zachary Alice is my name. Alice is my last name. Zachary my first. All right, Alice, the White Queen said. The very cute Alice, the White Queen said. And Alice ate a flower at the table to be continued. Chapter 2. The Tea Party. Zachary in Wonderland. Episode 4. Hello again, Alice, the Blind Hatter said. What? she said over the eye. You keep falling asleep, the Hatter said, kindly sipping his tea. I hate falling asleep. Every time I do, I get it on birthday. What's an unbirthday? Alice asked Daze. It's when you become a superhero, the Hatter said. Would you like to meet my boyfriend? the Hatter asked. There's no such thing as sexuality in Wonderland, Alice, the Hatter said, reading her face. Sure. Suddenly, a door with a giant question mark appeared, and in the middle of the party, they were drinking green, red, blue, royal frosty milk tea. Out of it came a man with white skin and red scars that looked like tears. The Hatter thought it was just really pretty makeup. He was wearing a top hat. Hello, over you. This is Zone. He's here to babysit you. But I'm 13, Alice protested. Yes, and he's 12. He's clearly 27, Alice protested. It's fine, the Hatter said jokingly. Oh, I do have a present for you, Alice. He pulled out a CD that had an orange building and a foreign words on it. She made out the words prism. It's called Almost Alice. It's an album all about you. The Hatter clapped his hands. His frail white hands were covered with leather gloves. Tell me, Mr. Hatter. Yes, the Hatter smiled. Do you like JD or BC better? Oh, gate, the Hatter smiled. Where do I start? Alice said, looking at the CD. The middle. Then I'll start from the end up. Alice smiled. Alice, it's time for your medicine, the rabbit, who was invisible at the party, claimed. But, Alice winced, I'm giving it to you so it's not evil like the berries the Green King had you eat. He was orange, Alice near yelled. Right. Do you like pie or roses better? Alice smiled, looking down. Actually, I prefer ginger hay. It's orange like your hair. <laughs> she laughed. My hair is brown. My skin is black. This is makeup. I love you no matter what, Hatter, Alice said. I can always tell what you're wearing. <laughs> Alice made a cute face and did a dance. Can he take med my medicine too? We're visiting Rave on his coordination day and this is a game of pretend. It's chocolate chips. Here in Wonderland, candy takes you travelling. Zone looked surprised, noticing Alice's earrings. The hatter sighed heavily. I swear it's not, Zone asked. Alice gets confused, the hatter said. She doesn't realise this is the real Wonderland. Alice snapped at the hatter. I do n not get confused. I like to play pretend. In my dreams, and sometimes... Alice held her chest. Pretending it's a dream is my home. Zone laughed. <laughs> my name is Captor. Zone Captor, and who are you? He twirled his hair, pulling out a lollipop. I am at Zachary Alice, the imaginary queen of Wonderland. <laughs> Alice let out a happy sigh. Anything that could happen, anytime, any place. Who's your favorite hat? <laughs> Zone laughed loudly. My favorite jewel is the kitten. Because he's Scapo in Wonderland and needs someone to play along. It's not play. Alice did a sad. He really thinks nobody believes him. I had to laugh. <laughs> We're all mad here. He needs to meet us. Don't put his fingers through his shins. You see, I thought he was a bird. He's both. He's a centaur. Alice giggled. Tell me, Hatter, is that your real name? What is a real name? The Hatter asked with a smile. Yours, I am you, Wonderland the Mirror. The Hatter smiled. Zone sighed. First absurd, now you, so many fans. Alice has never heard of you, Zone, the Hatter said bitterly, through a smirk. Well then, Zone sighed. Where would you like to start? Chapter 3. Hatter, have a nightmare. MCR, Idolo, JK, Beard. Trigger warning. ASMR, Dante Bosco, Hook, Peter Pan, Creepypasta, YouTube, and Childish, Gambino, Peep, and Marshmallows. Euphoria warning. Manhara, Cham, Wrist Warriors, Sickly, Kenny, Kyle, South Park, Doctor Who, Crossovers, New, 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 New York, Is Murdoch and Drag, Carnation Books. Song Ken, Servant of Evil, I'm Not Okay, I Promise, Kind Hearted Exposition, I'm a Young Child on Eternia, I'm Only Six Feet. Alice Zachary was, an al was a girl like any other, a seven year old with a wild imagination. Chapter 5 Will You, Won't You? Alice continued wondering about Wonderland. 
Soon she came across a caterpillar, a large centipede with gold and black skin. He had a big nose and wobbled his little feet. That fresh new wobble smell consumed him. He took a sip of his joint. Tell me, Zachary, Alice, gir is a girl new to Wonderland? The caterpillar asked, cold as a rock. Yes, Zachary mumbled. Flower face beside her. We just got done eating with the White Queen. Flower face smiled. I could easily really use a shirt. He pulled up his bandages to his chest. You shouldn't use those, the caterpillar said, letting out a cough with bad her breath. <coughs> use this. He pulled out an extra small underwork shirt. Try it. Flower face did. Here. He gave his jersey with a falcon on it to Flower face. You look much better now, Mermaid. He took another sip of his joint. You look out of it, Mr. Caterpillar, Alice said under her breath shy. That's because the flower I am eating through this pipe makes me dream. <laughs> the caterpillar laughed. Not May I stay with you? Flowerface asked. But of course, I hope you don't mind if we're bubbles, the caterpillar said. I care not of it, Flowerface said, now fully clothed. Please, don't call me Moo, that's um, my kid name. Oh, of course, the caterpillar said. Tell me, Alice, would you like to try some? The caterpillar rolled another pipe and offered it to Alice. No, thank you. I can do you perfectly fine without flowers. Alice near yelled. You're very bright, though young, the caterpillar said. My body aches, the flower heals it, the caterpillar said. They call it Scaliomus, the caterpillar sung. It's a cure, but I want the law to say so. Tell me when you visit the Red Queen requested. It's not legal in Wonderland to own these flowers. The caterpillar showed it to her. A leaf with four points. I will request it, Alice said triumphant. Alice said goodbye to the caterpillar and continued walking throughout Wonderland. Finally, she made her way to some big pearly gates. This must be where the Red Queen lives, Alice said, spooked. There were several cards on the flowers of the gates. Alice picked up one thing. Hey, watch it, the flower playing guard spoke. Pardon? Alice asked a small card in her hand. It was like a magical painting that moved on the face of the card. My name is Toblerone. Do you deserve me? The card asked. I'm hungry, actually, Alice said, raising her stomach. I do think I deserve you, Zachary said. Tell me your one wish. I wish the king was a good god, Alice said, smiling. The doors to the king led kingdom open themselves up. The Red Queen awaits, Alice heard a deep mumble voice say. Do you play croquet? The card asked Alice as she held him. Only a boy in a trench coat with a scrunchie, Alice said, smiling. Heather would approve, the card smiled. Take me with you on your trump card. Why a trump card? Alice asked. Because the king is a bad man, but he listens to you. You just have to add him. Pardon, Zachary asked. Look in the garden. They're all white sunflowers. Alice noticed. Hmm, she thought. She thought and thought until finally she remembered her big brother and cried and the gold that came from her eyes stained the flowers. What's your brother's name? The card asked. Dawn, <laughs> Alice said, crying through a smile. Chapter 4, Welcome to the Tea Party, Plain White Tees. Alice walked into the red gates. She saw a moving knight. She saw red chess pieces. Finally, she saw the red queen. Please come to the bed. I can't leave the bed. She saw a woman with a red peeling off white like face. Alice winced. I wasn't botched. I am disfigured, the red queen said. Can I have that card you're holding? I'll trade you a doll for it, the woman said. No need here, Alice gave the lady Toblerone. He's sweet like candy. He is a nightmare, miss, Alice mumbled. Some nightmares are worth it, Freyta said, the Queen Freyta. If you could make one change to every kingdom, Alice, what would it be? I would open the doors. Stop having them be closed, Alice near yelled excited. History of hmm, why is that? The Red Queen asked from the bed. Because, Alice said, it's a funny joke the Hatter tells me. When the Hatter spe sneak around Neverland because the doors were always closed. The Red Kingdom of America. The queen said sleepy. I don't have much time left, Queen Freyda said. Will you ever come back? The hatter has closed eyes and never truly the end. The hatter may be blind, but he's very wise, kind of like a grown-up you. <laughs> she coughed and orange came on her napkin. I love you, Alice. I love you too, Miss Queen. Please call me Fraser. Miss Fraser, Alice said. I have a doll for you. She made a gesture. It's under the bed. American girls. Her name is Kit. She'll be your best friend. Alice smiled, taking the doll. She looks like my sister, Alice said. Maybe one day we'll make a doll based off you. She pushed her fingers to her lips. That would be nice, Alice said. Alice, please hold my hand. Alice moved closer to the bed. The Red Queen closed her eyes, holding Alice's hand. Several kings then came into the room. 
Alice, it's time for you to leave Wonderland, the card guard said. But I would like Don Juan to have a final tea party, Alice stated very well, tears fell from Alice visibly. Where? The tea party room in the Yellow Kingdom where the Hatter lives. Chapter 5. The Last Your Quadro, a.k.a. Will You Won't You. Alice sat at the table. She was at the head. Next to her was the blind hatter, the rabbit, the white plain and crochet dress with a white small kept hat. The orange king was the last one to attend. You're always welcome here, the hatter said and smiled. Sorry if we had to test you, the purple rabbit cried. Everybody sat at the long table. Everybody from Neverland, including a cat Alice had never seen before, who was blue and purple like her dress. Today is Alice's own birthday. You may all make a wish. And the hatter swerved the sweetest chocolatey cake. And then Alice woke up. She was under the tree. It was all a dream. One day she would return to Neverland. But for now it was a fantasy. She made up sleeping. The end.